Welcome and thanks for joining us for this video where we'll cover how to manage the page and report navigation for your data studio, dashboard, or report. We'll cover how to create, edit, and manage pages in the edit mode and how this will affect the view mode when your users or your target audience actually view the report or dashboard. There are a couple ways that you can see the area where you can manage your pages in the report or the dashboard. The first way is right in this navigation area at the top here where it indicates what page you're editing for your report. So if you hover over it, it says that you can click on it to manage pages. And when you click on it, this section on the right for report pages, it tells you what pages you have in your report. So these are the pages and it displays the titles of each page so you can quickly navigate to each page if you don't want to use these arrows to go back and forth between pages. The other way to view this area is in the menu, in the top menu. If you click on page and then select manage pages, you're brought to the same area. So let me, let me click on another element so that we move away from this view and then click on page manage pages and it gives us the same area here. So there are a couple things that you can do in order to manage the pages here. You see this plus sign at the bottom here. If you click on the plus sign, you will add a page. You also have the option to click on page and that serves as the same function. So just be careful when you hover over this plus sign, if you actually click on it, it'll add another page. So you can click on that and it gives us a brand new page, labels it untitled. So from there, you can rename it to whatever you want. Example page and then you can choose whether you want to duplicate specific pages, whether you want to delete, hide them in the actual view mode. So this way it's only visible to you as an editor and your end users won't be able to see this page. You can select an icon, we'll go over that in detail and you can also move the arrangement, move the page to whatever order you feel like is appropriate. I'm going to go ahead and delete this page and just work with the pages that we already have here. So the pages that we have are from Google Analytics. They all have Google Analytics as a data source and they are the audience overview from Universal Analytics, a Google Analytics 4 version of the audience overview and then a behavior page. So if we hover over the plus sign again, we can take a look at the options. Once again, there's the page. You can create a new page here. There's the section option. If you click on this, it'll give you a brand new section. And you can see if you hover over different pages or different sections, you're given the option to the left of the titles here to move those pages or sections up or down. 
So if you click on the three dots on the right, you also have similar options where you can rename, delete, hide in the view mode, or select an icon, add, add a page to the specific sections, or move them up or down, depending on where it is in the order of your pages or sections here. So we can rename this and we'll actually call this section, let's call this audience. Since we have two pages for audience, and then we'll create another section for behavior. To warn you, sometimes it can take Data Studio a few moments to process certain actions. Like for example, if you create a new section or a new page, or if you move pages around, it might take a few moments in order for Data Studio to figure out what it wants to do. So you might have to exercise a little bit of patience there. So now we have our new section here, and let's rename it to Behavior. So now that we have our new sections, we can move pages into the appropriate sections. So we can do that for this audience overview page and drag it underneath the audience section and do the same for GA4 audience overview. Make sure the section expands so you can see that it moves the page into the correct place. And we'll do the same for behavior overview. And now we have all our pages in the appropriate section. Let's click on the three dots. And for each section, we can actually add an icon. And icons only work for top level elements. So that includes sections, top level sections and, and pages. So if you have pages within sections, then those won't have icons. And you'll see you'll see this in a minute. So for audience, let's select this account circle. It's misspelled here, but we can apply it and we see that our icon has been applied, and then for behavior, it's actually chosen a default icon for us. But we can also select our own icon for that. So if we scroll down, let's use this explore icon. I feel like that's appropriate for the behavior section where users are, are navigating through your page. So those are icons. And actually, if you add another page, oh, that's not where, okay, let's drag this outside of our audience section. Here's another thing to be aware of. So right now you can see that those dots, for example, the dots on the right side, the three dots on the right side, and the, the indicator where you can move pages or sections around don't appear. What I would do here is click on another element of the report and then go back. So that kind of refreshes and you can see those elements appear again. So let's move this element page outside of the audience section and you can see this page icon appear. So if we change it just to give you an idea of how this works, how the icons work. So there's our, our page there. And we will actually go ahead and delete this. 
If you look at the sections here, you'll notice that each section has their own arrows. So you can use these to either collapse or expand your sections. And then if you want, you can move sections up and down. So it just switched the order of these sections, but we're going to keep audience at the top. And you can do the same with pages. We can move this one down so it switches the order, but we'll also move it to the top again. So that's how you can rearrange the order of the pages or the sections. You probably noticed the order of the audience overview page and the GA4 audience overview page was switching back and forth. That was just Data Studio processing the action, but we've settled down now, so it looks like we're good to go. So let's go back here and add another page. Drag this outside of each section. And here, now that we have another page out here, once Data Studio is able to execute what we're trying to do, then we can see that we have these other options to add a divider or a header. I, I'm not sure if it's a bug or a feature, but if you only have sections or if you only have your pages in sections, you're not able to actually add dividers and headers. And you can see that this is the case as those options are grayed out. But if you do add that page outside of those sections, then those options do return to us. So you can add a divider if you want a physical divider for each of your sections, you can also add a header. So you can move those elements in between whatever pages or, or sections you want. So even though they're enabled when you have a page outside of the section, you can still move these elements in between either pages or sections in this area. As you can see here, I'm going to drag this divider in between those sections and then I'm going to drag the header to the top here. And for this header, I'm going to rename it merchandise store or mer merchandise store website so these sections of the report you can see or the viewer will be able to see that those sections deal with the website properties of our organization so you can also create another header, for example, that focuses on social media or pay-per-click advertisements or any other sections that you want to focus on. Of course, if you have a a traffic acquisition or traffic source section in your merchandise store website under your merchandise store website heading some elements or some pages some reports may may overlap and that's okay as long as you have the flow that you want as long as you have a flow that you think works for your target audience.
Now let's take a look at how this actually looks in the view mode. So click on view up here and we can see in our left navigation this is our header merchandise store website and it's actually smaller than the section headers. Maybe they'll change that in the future but these are our report sections so we can click on audience to expand that click on it again to collapse but let's expand all our sections and then we can click on audience overview and this will load that report we can click on the next page GA4 audience overview behavior overview and then this is the page that we created and then there's our social media header with nothing underneath there. You can collapse it if you want and you can just use these icons, these sections to navigate the report and it'll open up this left navigation again. So then you can actually view the pages that are in the report or the dashboard. So that's how you can manage your page and report navigation. Hope you found this useful. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment, and share the video. We'll see you in the next episode.